beach not far away. I went to visit for a day. Got covered with some gooey ooze that changed my DNA. Now I try to act normal, keep my cool. Why other kids play after school? I turn into a prehistoric hero. I'm in. Today on Dino Squad, Buzz takes a mutant garter snake on a passenger train, and the squad must catch the train before Buzz is captured by Victor Velocity. Nice work, Roger. This kitten's purring like a turbo jet. The engine's the easy part, Fiona. It's creating a mechanical replica of arachnid anatomy I'm worried about. Confidence, Roger. Time to let it out of the web. See if your spider can crawl. <laughs> Behold, the all-terrain spider utility vehicle, capable of traversing mountains, deserts, rocks, streams, and most man-made obstacles. This buggy rocks, and I think it's about to roll. Give us a hand here, Caruso. Tag my tail. Caruso, it's the rules. You gotta tag me first. I'll tag you. Now pull the distributor cap. <laughs> Back to the drawing board, eh, Raj? It's beyond my capability. Don't be silly. Nothing's beyond the capability of our resident Geniusaurus Rex. This obviously was. I'm not a genius. I'm just another geek with impossible dreams. They're not impossible, Roger. They're just challenging. Well, I'm obviously not up to the challenge. <laughs> Hey, Ms. Moynihan, what are you working on? Still trying to find a way to cure your dino genes. Ew! With a snake? It's a harmless garter snake. Some of their DNA is similar to dinosaurs. Velocity contaminated it with ooze, but I keep it at a low temperature so it doesn't mutate while I'm examining it. Even though I haven't found the answer yet, I won't give up until you're all back to normal. I hope your experiment works better than my latest disaster. What's the matter, Roger? He's bummed out because his new SUV design has a few kinks in it. It's not just the SUV. There's my ethanol gas mixture that was supposed to get 100 miles to the gallon, but toasted the engine in Max's dyno cycle. That was no disaster. I just had to rebuild the carburetor. Then there was my holographic mutant projector that wound up attracting mutants instead of repelling them. <laughs> Those leechosauruses were horrible little suckers. But we managed to peel them off, Caruso, before they did much damage. Well, what about the pheromone spray I invented that failed to attract that skunkosaurus? Ew. Uh, that was noxious. They're brilliant inventions, Roger. Perhaps a trifle ambitious, but nonetheless brilliant. Hey, dudes. What's hey, up? Buzz? I'm taking the train to Saratoga Springs to visit my punker pal, Vinny, for his birthday. Just came by to say, Arrivederci. Hey, did I tell you? Winifred had a little baby boa. You sure it's a boa? 
Looks more like a gorilla to me. It's a guy, dude. Name's Noah. Noah the boa. Aren't you just the cutest little slimy thing? Come on, Fee. You know that snakes aren't slimy. I'm giving it to Vinny for his birthday. Here. Maybe you'd also like a mutant attractor and a super stink sprayer. Gee, uh, thanks, Raj. But Vinny's already got plenty of mutant friends that don't smell so hot. I gotta run. Don't want to miss my train. Well, this looks promising. Wake up, my little sleeping beauty. I've got another test to perform with you. Oh, dear. We've got to contact Buzz. What's wrong? He took the wrong container. This is Noah. Which means the one he's got is contaminated. Team Manda Buzzer, do you copy? Looks like Buzz forgot his radio again. Excuse me, our friend has a, a sick snake. You've got to stop that train. Stop the train? <laughs> you kids watch too many cartoons. If that snake mutates, it could put a train full of commuters at risk. Maybe you can catch the train on your dino cycles. That won't work. We've got to think optimistically. It's got nothing to do with optimism. It's math. The train's traveling at roughly 70 miles per hour. It left the station over three minutes ago. So you have to travel nearly 75 miles per hour in order to catch up to it in an hour. But by then, you'd be going through Boston in rush hour traffic. What about the seaplane? Once the train is west of Boston, there's no body of water large enough to land on. There must be some way to reach that train. Hey, what about Roger's spider utility vehicle? You mean the disaster on wheels? The one that almost ate us for breakfast? Get real. It's not as bad as you make it sound, Roger. It might have a few bugs that have to be worked out, but it's the best chance we have. It'll never work. Of course it'll work, Roger. You're a genius. Yeah, you've got one of those, what do you call it? A green thumb. Uh, that's what gardeners have, Caruso. Okay, so he's got a green brain. Roger, we're all counting on your new invention to catch that train in time. Exactly, so what are we waiting for? Let's roll. This thing is awesome! I knew your design would work! How are we doing time-wise? According to the train schedule, bus should be just past the Haverhill Station headed south toward Boston. If we head southwest at an average speed of 60 miles an hour, we should be able to beat them to the Pittsfield Station, provided nothing goes wrong with the SUV. Well, according to my calculations, it's not going to be that easy. How do you figure? It's just a simple word problem. If a harmless little garter snake at 60 degrees Fahrenheit leaves Kittery Point in a train that's 70 degrees Fahrenheit, how long will it take to warm up and mutate into a humongous snakeosaurus? Better step on it, Fio. Get me the lab. Are we running any field tests today? Well, there's a mutant heading southwest out of Boston at 70 miles per hour. Must be some kind of flying creature. No, whatever it is, it's on a train. Prepare the helicopter. This is more fun than buffer cars. We're making great time, Fio. At this rate, we should beat the train to the station by 15 minutes. 
I knew my defective design would never get us there. Your design is fine. Let's just get this tire fixed. Just our luck. A bad jack. Oh, man. It's my bad. I added 2,000 pounds to the SUV, but forgot to upgrade the jack. Now we'll never get it fixed in time. You've got to give yourself a break, Roger. You can solve any problem, as long as you don't give up. How do we fix a tire without a jack? We don't need a jack. We've got a Caruso! What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that any one of us can be the jack, Jack. A Jackasaurus, that is. We got enough time to reach the train before it leaves Pittsfield. Let's get this spider crawl. The next station is Pittsfield. That's where we'll get on. There's the station. And there's the train. I think we can make it. I think we can. I think we can. It's Velocity! If he's after that train, it can only mean one thing. He missed the bus? The snake's gone mutant! That's not our only problem. If we don't get to the crossing before the train does, we're gonna lose this race! It's cutting it too close! No sweat, my turbo booster will get us across. No! We could have made it! Only nitwits try to beat trains. That kind of risk is never justified. Come on, Gate. The train is passed. Rise. Rise! the next station? Albany. About 40 miles by train, but 30 as the crow flies. If we take a beeline to the station, we should be able to beat the train, provided nothing else goes wrong. Roger. Positive thoughts. I think we can. I think we can. Whoa, whoa! Uh, I've been vaporized by an unidentified flying egg plane. Victory! I am the vegetarian pizza king of the pepperoni galaxy. Whoa, Raptor Dine dudes and Raptor Dine dude leader. I'm out of here. You've got to think more positively, Roger. You did a magnificent job on this audio system. Awesome sound. I didn't upgrade the audio. It's stock. I did, however, upgrade the cooling system, which is overheating. Why don't we just face it? This junk heap is never going to get us to the station in time. It will if we get some water in the radiator. Where are we going to find water around here? How about that creek? Brilliant. And just how do we get the water from there to here? Brilliant. It's out of the red zone. Close it up and let's get rolling. How about a quick wash while you're at it? I meant the car. Noah? <gasps> Snake a on a train. Bad news. And worse news, it's on its way. There's another dino beyond this door. A perfect one. We've got to get through. 
Take a train, see the sights. Yeah, right. It's jam tight, sir. Cut through it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid we're having some trouble with the rear door and need to do some repairs. Please move to the forward cars. Oh, oh, This is getting to be a real pain in the train. Buzz! He's not in this car. Velocity. What are they doing? Judging by this bright blip, I say Buzz is on the other side of the door in dino mode, and they're doing their best to get to him. What's Buzz doing in dino mode between train cars? Judging by this other blip, I say he's trying not to get eaten by a mutant snake. We've got to stop Velocity. But how? Why don't we ask Roger's scanner? The scanner can't help us, but Roger can. You don't need my help. You have to. Buzz and everyone else on this train is counting on you. You just lost your confidence like all great thinkers do now and then, but persistence pulled them through. Fiona's right. I read once that Thomas Edison tried over 10,000 filaments before he found one that lighted his bulb. He didn't see it as 10,000 failures. He saw it as 10,000 successful eliminations of filaments that didn't work. You just have to change that brilliant mind of yours and start thinking positively again. I guess I have been kind of hard on myself. And each time I said I can't, it got harder and harder. But maybe I can think of something. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can. Here's what we'll do. Oh, Bobby. All set? Go for it, Max. Stand back. Another perfect dinosaur on the roof. Hurry! Can I offer you a lift? Temperatures dropping in the mail car. You're up, guys. Let's have that video game. Got it. Okay, guys. Time to go dino! Sir, I'm reading another perfect dinosaur signature, and it's heading toward the rear of the train! Start her up, Max. Purring like a kitty. More like a kitty sore as Rex. Your redesign fixed all the flaws, Roger. And it only took three attempts instead of 10,000. Couldn't have done it without you guys. I mean, helping me get my confidence back. Thanks for not letting me give up. I just spoke to the railroad company. Apparently, their security personnel caught up with Victor Velocity and his men at the Saratoga Spring Station. He agreed to pay for the damage to the train in order to avoid an investigation. 
Well, that'll save us a few thousand allowances. Hey, Buzz. How was the birthday party? Awesome. Vinny hated the snake. So I gave him a portable video game player. And I kept the garter snake. Now I've got a whole family. I named the one we de-used Carter. Aren't they sweet? Noah the boa and Carter the garter. Hey, Roger. I need a little help with my math homework. This word problem's got me stumped. Think you can help me out? I think I can. I think I can. Don't have to be a Dino Squad hero to help save the Earth. Be cool. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Change my DNA.